In the previous video, we presented to you the global challenges of the Anthropocene caused by an unsustainable development in the global food system and how innovation fueled by a bridge between science and the local community has the potential to encourage a sustainable transition. However, time has passed since our last video and now we want to explore with you the conceptualization stage of the Belmont Bayans Greenhouse. After defining the needs, characteristics, social and economic context of the city of Amsterdam, we spent two months on finding solutions about what the Green Tower could provide in terms of community building, education and job opportunities. Together with the design team, we envision where social spaces will be in the tower and how to organise them organically. We contacted 10 key actors to get additional ideas and support. We are creating a database with important information to support our concept and we are preparing the social layout for the final document. The common kitchen is one of our core concepts as it mixes together cultural exchange and culinary education in a public space. Previously we had introduced the resource flows into the plant production system. Since then we have been working on quantifying the local waste streams such as black, grey, yellow water and organic waste. We study the feasibility of transforming these flows into electricity, heat and substrate and then we introduce them back into the system. Ensuring that the food production is optimised also means the technical group works closely with the design group assigning the various functions to each space. Making sure that our ideas come to light means going out there and conversing with real businesses and presenting our concept to them. The business group has therefore spoken with stakeholders of both high knowledge and high interest. This makes sure that I decided upon a project is constantly refined until we are confident that it is accepted in the real world. Right from the beginning, we wanted our concept to have a further reach than the boundaries of the Belmont Bayans. For this reason, our business approach looks at creating networks within and outside of Amsterdam. The heart of the greenhouse is the technical facility for food production. Around the food production system, we developed a circle of social spaces that can be partly managed by the community itself. This is what science called salutinogenic architecture. It is used in architecture and recognises that the physical built environment is essential for the preservation of individual and community health. Thank you for watching.